Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install uh, the C programming compiler which is the MinGW. So MinGW basically is the most popular and the best compiler for C and C++ programming in Windows. Uh, so uh, let's get to the point and uh, download the compiler. So go to uh, Google and write MinGW. So click the first link. This opens up a download window, so uh, click directly on download. This actually takes a while, uh, especially if your internet is not good. Now click on start download. Now go on the folder, so open the folder. So this is my main GW uh, setup. So double click on the setup to install. So this uh, opens up the install window. So uh, click on install. So this is uh, the uh, default directory. So you can keep it as it is or you can change for your convenience. So click continue. Now my download starts and uh, it will take a while. Now my download is complete, so click on continue. Now it's uh, installing, so uh, this opens up the uh, MinGW installation manager. So in the MinGW installation manager, uh, there are different packages that are going to be added. So uh, click on the package, the first package for example, right click and mark for installation. And do it for uh, all the packages so that uh, they will be included in your uh, MinGW mark for installation do it for all the packages so after selecting all the packages uh, go to the installation and uh, click on the installation so apply change click on apply change now click on apply All right, so our download manager uh, complete uh, downloading and extracting all the important packages to the main GW. So now let's close. Now let's add the uh, path of the main GW so that uh, uh, our system will actually know uh, the compiler. So uh, click the C drive and here you can see uh, the main GW. So click on the main GW. In the MinGW, there is a bin, so click on bin. So uh, click here and copy the path of our MinGW so that uh, we can actually compile our code uh, from anywhere. So copy this one. Um, now let's go to the environment variables. So right on the start menu, uh, environment variables, environment. Uh, variables so click on the environment variables all right now uh, the environment variable window pops up so on this environment variable click on pause then edit uh, simply click on new and paste the pause on this directory so uh, click ok again ok now uh, we finished installing our uh, main GW for C and C++ programming. All right, now let's see if our main GW is co correctly installed. So uh, on the start menu, uh, write CMD for the command prompt. And in the command prompt window, write GCC space dash dash version version click enter and we see that our gcc min gw is actually uh, correctly installed now close this one let's close this one and let's write uh, our first c programming our hello world uh, c programming so for that for your convenience you can actually create a new folder on the uh, desktop uh, new 
new folder in this folder let's uh, name it c uh, workspace or c programming workspace so uh, let's write workspace so uh, double clicking on the uh, workspace in this workspace you can right click and uh, create new uh, text document now our text document is created so let's name it uh, our first program which is hello world hello world.c now it's uh, actually the extension for uh, a c programming language c opening this in the notepad we can actually write our c program so let's write our c program and uh, compile it right compile it so uh, our first c program will look like hash include stdio.h now let's write the main program so we have int main and let's write our uh, first c program so uh, let's simply say printf and write hello world so printf hello world let's say hello world uh, and simply uh, return zero so this uh, is going to be our first program this is going to be our first program so let's uh, save it file and uh, uh, save it as hello world.c right it's saved as hello world.c all right so since this one is actually uh, written in notepad so the default extension is actually dot text extension so you can just that uh, check that by uh, looking at the type so in the type it's just text document right but uh, uh, it should be actually uh, c source file so for this one we should actually change this uh, type into a c source file so for that we can just go uh, to view and uh, enable file name extensions enable file name extensions so by this we can actually uh, change the type of this one into .c file now by editing by editing we can uh, uh, save it as uh, .c file right .c file so let's edit this one so this is going to be uh, removed so it's gonna be uh, a c file so click on yes this will automatically change the type into C source file. Now it's just a C source file that uh, you can easily compile, right? So uh, come to this uh, workspace and write CMD, CMD, and this will open up the uh, command prompt. So on the command prompt, we can actually compile our program, our first C program. So for that, we can just write uh, GCC. And the name of our file which is hello world .c. so we can write hello world hello world uh, .c, space dash o and o is actually for the output because we expect an output or the executable file as an output right and you can name the file of the uh, executable file uh, as you like so you can rename it or you can uh, make it as it is like hello world so let's name it as hello hello this is uh, looks like portable so uh, click enter this uh, is correctly compiled now right this is correctly compiled now and you should see um, .exe file so we generate this .exe file upon compiling right upon compiling now let's execute uh, this and see the output of our first C program. So by simply writing the name of the program, uh, which uh, uh, we named as hello, uh, we can find the output, right? So write hello, which is the name of the uh, .exe file. So uh, by uh, clicking enter, we can find hello world, right? Hello world. So this is gonna be uh, your first program in C programming language. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.